Hi guys, so this is part two of the Brower Review. We will be trying to make this series all in one day, and then we will give you guys another series about something. So the, the next Briar Horse we're, we're doing is the Briar 70th Anniversary Horse. This is one out of five, I think. Um, it is a mare. Um, it does say 70th Anniversary on the bottom right there. Yeah, if you're ever wondering, they will say that on the bottom. Yeah. So, like, if you want it for your birthday or something and you get it, you'll know that this was 70th anniversary horse. horse? Yeah. Which the anniversary tickets from Briar, you can, like, you get a ticket and you don't know what you get, so. Yeah. And also, um, it's pretty cool that he has, like, that she has, um, all black, um, hoofs and legs and then you come down to this one it's it's kind of like a yellowish and then it's got the the socks right there so that's pretty cool and then you got the nice appaloosa spots like this is one of my favorite things about appaloosas and then he's got the black she's got the black tail i'm sorry about that it does not come to hoofs um but it does have one that's kind of like up though, so that's interesting. It's got a black mane too, right there, so black mane. It has some cool ears, like they're tall, and they're kind of like out a little also right there. And it does have a nice little blaze there. Um, It's got the black and white eyes. Um, the forelock, it is coming off a little, like, like that. So, um, yeah, that's going to be it for the Teagle, and we're going to be moving on to the next horse. So, actually just measuring it so I can tell you guys how high it is. And this one, this next one is not a traditional, because, um, between traditional, this is a traditional model right here, and this is the classic model actually. So classics are smaller, um, they're a little less expensive. Also, um, and they don't have that much detail. Like, see on the they're face, pretty, they're pretty cool though. I like. They them. have the veins, but then on this one, that's really detailed. Yeah, so. that's like a traditional. So we'll talk to you guys about that black one later. But um. The 70th anniversary horse can be found on Amazon, Briar, and eBay. I'm not really sure how much money he is, but we're going to be moving on to this next classic, this little classic horse, and I just mentioned what's the difference. Now, classics are smaller fake and smaller. So, this one is it's a real. Re it's a real horse. We'll talk to you about it later. So, See, for size comparisons, there, this one is probably is the size of, of that traditional. Five inches or so, and this one's four inches, yeah, like four and a half inches. So this is the tallest one we have. It's pretty tall. Yeah, I think tallest, this is as tall as it gets. Tallest and classic. And this is one of the smallest we have. In so traditional. for size comparisons, more detailed. Smaller though, bigger, less detail. So it kind of compares on the money, not the size. Because some sizes are too big if you're trying to get them in a trailer or something. Yeah. Or a shelf, it might not work. So also this classic model, it does have a lot to it. But it, I'm not sure if classics come with like the shoes. I'm not sure. They probably don't. But it does have like a little bit of a gray mane right there and black eyes. And it has tall ears. Um it's got like a grayish muzzle. Um it's it's pretty tall. Like Ashwin said it's about like six meters to five six yeah, five six, six five or something. It's got a nice little tail right there that's kinda connecting to the that's connecting to the leg. Um, it does have white legs coming down and then a little bit of black. 
and then a little bit of like beige for the hoofs and it does have black guys i do i didn't want to mention that again because that's pretty cool though so i'm going to be moving on to the next horse now so the next horse is pretty special it is actually a race horse um most of the viewers might probably not know but it is a horse that is named Secretariat. So this is the 1973 Cripple Crown Champion. He's eight and a half inches. Um, he's running on his plat stand. Yeah, on his stand. It does look like a uh, track. Um, the, the tail's waving up. It's flying because he's running so fast. It's standing on three legs. Um. The ears are back, it's running. I wouldn't even see, say three, maybe even one. Yeah. Yeah, maybe just like one leg. And it's it does have like the black hoof. And it is a thoroughbred because thoroughbreds are mainly known for racing. So it's got like the three socks. Um, It does have like a little bit of a, a blaze there. Like we said in the last video. Star, blaze, snip. <laughs> Star, blaze, and snip. I, I Star like, is a really small one. I feel like a there's another one we're missing. <laughs> a snip is like one cut off. See how the blaze is going all the way? This one's yeah. like cut off. That's that, a snip. And it is a thoroughbred, again. And it does not come with the shoes, but I do. I'm going to take it off its stand real quick. But it does have some nice details to the stand, too. Yeah. Which is amazing. And it's kind of like kicking up some dirt there. So I'm going to put him back on a stand. Um, he is available on briar.com. Um, I'm not sure if he's available on eBay, but I do know he's available on um, Amazon. So now we're going to be moving on to that black horse you guys saw earlier. So I'm going to let Ashlyn... Um, run through this one. So, surprisingly, this is Emma, the Queen of England's little pony. Fell pony. Yeah, fell pony. So, she's $30 on Amazon or Buyer. And so, you can see pictures of her in real life which is pretty cool. Yeah. And if you get her on the back of her box, has a nice story. Yes. With some of the other buyers that come with the horses and books, which I think is cool. And this is this is actually a picture from a book. It's not exactly Emma, but it is her breed. So I might read a little bit about this. They're they're from Northern England. They're about um, 13.2 hands. Um, they're best known for trail riding, driving, and jumping. And they are in the pony category. Um, and this is a little map of where Northern England is right there. And that's the horse again. I think it is bec behind some castle. And if you guys want me to read more about this, these horse breeds, just let me know, or I might just do it in a video. So, so um, back to Ashlyn. By the hoof. See how there's the hoof and then feathers? Mm -hmm. They're just called feathers. <laughs> so, um, then you might be wondering if you see there's a gray spot right here. Really? I've never seen that. That... Ponies this was for or two. horses, as Connor would always like people to say, they used to like be it. so small. So that used to be their like defender. Like skunks have spray, and um, and dogs have very sharp teeth. <laughs> yes, so that used to be horses. Um, to like protectants because they were this little small animal, so they grew really big. Like this. And if you feel a horse's hoof before, they 
if you could feel your fingernail. They just feel like your fingernail, but harder. So when you put shoes on, you need to be really careful or do something like that. And because, and, uh, like, um, if someone cuts your nail and it really hurts, that's what it does. And also, um, Emma is a fell pony, not a Clydesdale. It might look like a Clydesdale. But really quick, I just want to tell you guys a fun fact about Clydesdales. And I will tell you guys another fact about fell ponies probably in another video. But do you guys know that a Clydesdale's um, horseshoe could be the size of a dinner plate? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's going to be it for part two. Um, we will be doing part three today. We're going to try and finish up the series today. And we will be bringing you guys more classics and traditionals. So don't, like, don't forget to like and subscribe, turn on post notifications, and have a good day.